and today I'm going to give you a guide on when to use the present perfect tense. The present perfect tense can be confusing for ESL learners, but it's a crucial aspect of English grammar. Here's a guide on when to use the present perfect tense. The first situation is actions or events with relevance to the present. We use the present perfect tense to talk about actions or events that happened at an unspecified time in the past, but have a connection to the present moment. For example, I have visited Paris. This action of visiting Paris is relevant to the present, even though the exact time of the visit is unspecified. Another example is, she has lost her keys. The action of losing the keys has an impact on the present situation. The next situation is unfinished time periods. When discussing a time period that continues up to the present moment, we use the present perfect tense. For example, I have lived in this city for five years. The action of living in the city started in the past and continues up to the present. Another example of this is they have worked here since 2010. The action of working here started in the past and continues up to the present. The next situation is when we're talking about experiences in life, especially when the focus is on the experience itself rather than the specific time it occurred. For example, I have never flown in a helicopter. The experience of flying in a helicopter is relevant to the present regardless of when it happened. Another example of this is, have you ever tried sushi? The experience of trying sushi is the focus, not the specific time that it occurred. Next, we have recent past actions. When discussing actions or events that happened in the recent past and have an effect on the present, we use the present perfect tense. For example, she has just finished her homework. The action of finishing homework is recent and relevant to the present moment. Another example is, they have already eaten dinner. The action of eating dinner has occurred recently and may affect the current situation. And the last situation that we use this tense is actions with indefinite time adverbs. For example, ever, never, already, yet, just, and recently. For example, have you ever been to Italy? I haven't finished my work yet. He has just arrived. Remember, the present perfect tense is formed with the auxiliary verb have or has for third person singular, followed by the past participle of the main verb. With practice and exposure to various texts, contexts, you'll become more comfortable using the present perfect tense correctly in English. Thank you.